Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost and today we are going to talk about lighting and coloured lighting as well. So let's get started. So as you can see we have a sprite light gradient. Uh, this is going to essentially be the light source. Um, and I haven't, th this one isn't that great but it does get the job done for this demonstration sort of purpose. Uh, as you can see it's just like uh, a circle and then towards the end it's like a gradient so it's you know it sort of like fades out a bit I just have a background uh, and then we have two objects and a room so in the room there's nothing special here it's just a uh, 720p and we have this object in here which is object surface light and this is going to be like the uh, the controller for the lights so the way that you get um, those lighting effects is in the object surface light you need a create event and in here we're just going to create the surface first of all we're going to set the depth um, and the reason we set the depth is that's uh, the depth at which the surface will be drawn to the room okay so at minus 100 that's going to set the depth at pretty much behind everything uh, now let's go into the surface manager the draw event so when you working with surfaces, you always need to start pretty much with um, if surface exists. So we, we always need to check that it exists because with surfaces, sometimes they can just stop existing. Um, and so in that event, we will recreate the surface. So we're going to set the target to light surf and then we're going to draw a clear black background and then we'll take control of the object light source. Um, and inside that light source, we're going to set the GPU blend mode to BM subtract. Okay, this just allows the uh, top the gradient to punch through the background layer. So, and then we'll draw the sprite uh, as I'm just sort of saying there, punch through the the background with the gradient. And then, what if? So ignore this um, BM zero. We're going to get to this in a moment. This just allows for coloured lighting. Okay, but we'll we'll talk about that in a moment. Okay, so then we're gonna set the blend mode back to BM normal, um, just so that everything else that is drawn is just done normally. Uh, and then you have to s reset the target. This just means that everything above it is what we're gonna draw to the target, okay? And then we actually draw the surface itself. And then, as I said, if the surface does not exist, we will recreate the surface um, with the you know room width by the room height. So. Just for now, we are going to remove the colour. So what we're doing here um, is, if you think of like, so when you create a surface, you are essentially just, imagine this, so you, you've got your game and then you, you've created a surface and you're drawing that surface on top of everything else. So you have your game and then you've drawn a surface like this. This is your surface. So when we then set the blend mode to subtract, and we, we draw this gradient because it's beneath the draw clear here so the background that we've created what we're essentially doing is we are punching through um, the background with the gradient that's that's essentially what is happening there and then if you were to uh, remove this what that does is so you've punched through the background uh, once and then what happens is you're just punching through the same place of that background again and that is essentially all that's happening there um, but yeah for now we'll just get rid of uh, the color so in the step event uh, we're just gonna um, make sure we have a way to place light sources down on the ground so if we press the left mouse button uh, and then we'll just create a light source where the mouse is pretty much uh, that's all we're doing there so if we go into object light source and in the create event, we'll just go to initialize it. Uh, and we're gonna have two variables in here that are gonna dictate how big the light source is. So now we're just gonna create the flicker effect. Uh, this is, you know, it's not, it's not necessary. I just think it looks good. It's more just for aesthetics really. So what we do is we have a random range between those very small values. Uh, and then we just add it to the X radius and the Y radius but then we clamp the X radius and the Y radius so that it doesn't exceed 
these values here. Uh, just because if it starts exceeding these, it gets really weird. Like it could get super tiny, so you can't see it, or super big. You know, so you have to. So we're just going to clamp it between these values. So as for the x radius and y radius, this, as I just said, makes the the glow. Uh, so you start the glow size, right, of the light source. Now, if you go back to the draw then in object surface light, uh, when we control the light source, when we're drawing the sprite the gradient sprite. Um, as you can see it's looking for the image x scale and y scale here uh, and that's where we're just inserting the x radius and the y radius. So yeah there you go um, as we explain we're just sort of punching that hole through the gradient uh, sorry through the background with the gradient uh, and then we create these cool lighting effects. Um, now let's have a look at the colour to introduce colour to this. Oops. Um, so we're setting the color right here. It's, it's pretty much the exact same code, except we're setting the blend mode to zero. Now, I don't remember exactly why we set these blend modes as we do. I believe this just uh, intensifies light, and I can't remember what zero does. Uh, I just know that it, <laughs> it works for colored lights. So um, you set the color here. Uh, in this part, as you can see, it's looking for a color down here. Now, this could be anything you want, but typically you don't want the alpha to be one, um, and you probably need to change it depending on the color you're using, uh, just because it can look kind of weird. So, if we set this to one, let's have a look. So, yeah, as you can see, that is a tad extreme, honestly, and it's not even really light in that at that point, is it? It's just sort of overlaying. So. Instead, let's go back to, I don't know, let's try 0 0.6. But yeah, as you can see, that, that's more of like um, faintly coloured. Um, in fact, I'm just going to try it once more at 0 0.7. This is where I started it with. And that might just be the sweet spot for this colour. Yeah, I, th I think it probably is actually. But yeah, you're going to have to just play with that value depending on the colour uh, that you're playing with. Uh, and also something I, I forgot to mention earlier is that when we draw the surface uh, this alpha is essentially essentially dictating you know um, sort of like the black background and stuff like that so if we set it to one it, sh it will just end up with a pitch black room that we can punch through uh, with the gradient but yeah there you go guys I hope this was somewhat helpful and uh, yeah I will see you next time Hey guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this, and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.